guys. Happy Saturday. So you're probably wondering, um, a lot of you I know have Chrome and you need Chrome now as your browser, but sometimes people don't know a lot about Chrome and you might not have your browser set to automatically update. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where to find these settings. If you have a Chromebook and your child is already all set for that, then if you look in Chrome and you look at the top right hand corner, it's going to show a little icon that's colored green, orange, or red, and it's going to ask you to update. So to update Google Chrome, on a Chromebook, you're going to go into Chrome and you're gonna click on, I like to call this the little snowman. So if you click on the snowman, it's going to, it's going to prompt you to update Chrome. That's perfect. Just click update, you're all set. If you're someone like me and you have a Mac, it's a little bit different. And to get to that, you're gonna have to go ahead and you're gonna have to click on settings. Once you click on settings, if you're syncing, you should see the little picture that you uploaded or whatever icon you have. You'll see sync in Google services. And you're gonna wanna go down and look on this side over here. And it's gonna say you and Google, autofill, privacy and security, appearance. You're gonna wanna go down and click on about Chrome. Now in about Chrome, it's automatically, as soon as I open that, it's going to start checking for updates. And right now it's telling me, awesome, my Google Chrome is up to date. I'm running the latest version, the official build, and my automatic updates are turned on. If your automatic updates are not turned on, especially now that we're heavily using Google and Google Classroom, you're going to want that turned on. So every computer is a little bit different, but if you click on learn more, it's going to give you the same information that I just gave you, but you'll get the general idea. Now, if you're not getting automatic updates, this is why it's important for you to just get auto updates. Extensions, I'm gonna try to give you a little more information about extensions. So extensions that were made by users, many of these that we love and that we've grown to really like using with our kids are extensions for the browser that have been made by an individual person who's found a need for something. So like all of us were clamoring to see our kids at once, kind of like a Zoom meeting. There was a man who created an extension, which was cosmetic, which means it doesn't embed information. It makes it look prettier. He created a cosmetic extension to make it look more like something else and he uploaded that to the extension store. Now, these are not, some of these extensions are official extensions made by companies. Other of them are locally produced, meaning that it could be a teacher, it could be a programmer that made it. And sometimes the reason why things don't work all together is because that person still might have to update their code to make it match to the updates that Chrome had just done. So you have to sometimes give them a little time to catch up, and it might just be a day or two, but you can go into your extensions and you can check to see which updates, if it needs to be updated, what's in there, and you can remove things that you don't want there, okay? But that's why your, your Google Grid extension might not have been working on Friday, and also Google's servers were so overloaded it's very difficult right now because they experienced a double growth and they weren't really anticipating it. So, but that's just a quick little introduction to your extensions and to your Chrome. So I hope that helped. Bye.